Hello, brothers and sisters. Here I am to talk about useless questioning. When we start questioning stuff the Bible doesn't talk about, doesn't tell us. Like, for example, was King Saul really saved? How were the people saved in the Old Testament? Well, the fact is, the Old Covenant is no longer, so it's not important. What is important is that for now, all must put their trust in Christ, repent and believe, and they'll be saved. That that's what matters. So the Bible gives us what we need and we need to focus on that and not start speculating and asking questions that lead us away from the Word of God. Here's a more spicy question. Can Christians have demons? Well, the fact is, the Bible doesn't tell us. See, the entire epistles from Paul, Peter, James, John, all speak nothing about this. Oh, but Paul, Paul had a thorn in the flesh. He said it was a messenger from Satan. Well, exactly. When he talks about that, he doesn't tell us what to do. He doesn't say, I did this, that, and the other. He says, actually, I prayed and God told me his grace is sufficient. What he learned is to glory in his weakness because that's when God's power is made more manifest. That, that's it. If there's any place he would have taught us what it means to be uh, possessed of a demon as a Christian and what to do, it would be there, but he doesn't. Jude goes even further because he says those who try to take authority over demons are nothing more brute beasts because even Michael doesn't do that. Eesh. And the fact is the Bible doesn't talk about it. Therefore, we shouldn't either. It does tell us that we are sinners and we need to be putting to death these sinful passions and putting on Christ-like character, giving us over to the Spirit, being filled with the Spirit to live as God wants us to live. That's it. We need to stay focused on what God has given us and not start speculating and questioning on stuff God didn't give us. Let us focus on what God did give us brothers and sisters.